This program is a paid presentation for Microplay and is brought to you by Microplay and Microplay.com. Come on, Em, let's go. No way, I'm not coming out. Come on, we need you for the cat fight thing. This is way too embarrassing, Todd. I'm gonna need some heavy compensation for this one. Hi. Hi, Marty. What do you want? The car for the next month, half your allowance, and a one minute segment on your show called Emily's Observations. Did we give her this stuff? Yeah, absolutely, come on. All right, uh, I agree to the first two and we'll give you 30 seconds on the show, how's that? Sign on the dotted line. She gave us a contract. What? Uh, just get out here. <laughs> That's perfect. All right, let's go. Nice. Meow. <laughs> what? What are you looking at? Nothing. Keep your eyes here. Game addicts, take one. Game addicts, game addicts. Game addicts, game addicts. Game addicts, game addicts. Game addicts, game addicts. Game addicts. It's not how you play. Come on, we're on. Hey, 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 wait a sec. I want to do my Bella Lugosi, okay? Watch, watch, watch. You are such a nerd. Good evening. <laughs> you like that, baby. Loser. Okay, we had a bit of a blackout, because Marty, the genius over here, he plugged in all of our electrical equipment into one power bar. Just it's... trying to make your attic work, yeah. man. I'm just trying to make Anyways, it Anyways, thank you. Uh, we're back for the second installment of Game Addicts, and I gotta say, the viewer response has been absolutely overwhelming. You love us! You really love us! <laughs> and God knows we want to stay on the air, so we're listening to our viewers, right? And whatever. We will kiss your butts to keep the show going. We will. Okay, here are a few comments uh, that we downloaded from the net. Uh, who's this here? Comments are good. J.D. Rothstein. Okay, let's see what he's got to say. Uh, like the Game Addicts concept. Cool. Positivity good idea for is good. A show. Um, but you guys suck worse than in television. Can you believe this? Kid? That's terrible. I don't want, don't read the negative stuff. I don't want to hear this. Oh, he, but listen to this. He goes on to say the, the extra 10 pounds that TV adds isn't helping Marty out one bit. How did he know I was sensitive about my weight? I'm going to find that guy. You're dead meat. J.D. Rothstein. Don't, thin, don't walk see? alone at night. His final words are, um, Cindy is the only talented one and you should make her a permanent fixture well, on the show. we knew that already. Yeah. Whatever. I say, let's just give the viewers what they want. Let's introduce our new featured performer. Yes! Cindy! Oh, We'd like to welcome her to the couch. Hello, Cindy. Cindy. Yeah. Welcome That's to the couch. Thanks. Good stuff. Feels good. All right, before we launch into our first review, we feel that it's important that you guys know a little bit more about Catfight. Yeah. You're going to love the cinematic. We directed it. We, what, when do we get to uh, see the rushes? You know, it's still in development. We got a lot of things to tweak out, but you know, soon. I think we may even have something to show the people today, just well, like some early so. stuff. So, Kate, be a doll and roll the tape if you would. Yeah? Please don't refer to me as doll. It's sexist. What's the matter with being a little sexy? Ah, sweetness. Spinal Tap, 1982. Rob Reiner. Let's go to the tape. Catfight is really a vision that Marty and I have had for, uh, for a couple of years now. We've really tried to, to get a focus on a, on a mature rated fighting game with very attractive females. All right, now fight like cats! You're dancing, Emily, fight! Okay, this is ridiculous, enough with this sissy crap. Ow! Ow! And there's a lot of stereotypes that this game is battling against. Like, people might just look at Catfight and think, oh, there's another sexist game with, with girls fighting each other. It's not about that. It's a struggle 
to express ourselves against those stereotypes and to show the liberation. That's it, that's it! Now rip some clothes off! Uh, you know, we expect the game to be misunderstood. I mean, Marty and I, we've always been misunderstood. It's not enough to just know the type of cat that you are. There's felines, there's Siamese, okay? Is it a kitten? I want you to create a history for the cat. It's, it's cruel, it's sexual, it's everything. And there's action, there's adventure, there's fighting, and there's really attractive girls. We really think that is a mix that's really going to put this game over the top. We're cutting the footage together, and we should have the cinematic completed very soon. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Let's pay some bills and hear a word from our good friends at Microplay. Microplay is your destination to buy, sell, rent, or trade video games for your console or PC. I got into Microplay because I really enjoy video games ever since I was a little kid. In the past, Microplay was just video games. And uh, now we're doing something different. For example, we're doing movies, computer stuff, PC stuff. When you walk into a Microplay, there's walls and walls of video games. You know, we feature all the new games. You can rent them, buy them, trade in old ones. It's great. They got everyone beat in terms of price, in terms of staff that knows a lot. I mean, you know, they might not know as much as me, but hey, I have my own TV show, right? But they know a lot. Like, they're very knowledgeable. There's games, right? And games. It's becoming more of a broad-based uh, products that we have to carry. Visit us at microplay.com for a full list of store locations, or you can shop online for all your gaming needs. When you think of microplay, you think of video games and entertainment center. Okay, and we're back into the microplay stores. This is where it all happens, Cindy. What do you think? It's pretty cool. Yeah, and uh, try and stay close to us because there's a lot of strange looking young guys here that have never seen anything that looks like you before. Don't touch my bed. Okay, let's uh, take a walk around and get some of the CDs that we need for today's show, eh? Hey, isn't that that kid who beat you up last week, Marty? <laughs> you think you are, but you better know that none of that stuff's gonna play with me and my friends, alright? You just get out of here. You just yeah. get out of here. Who what do you is think going you are? On? You little oh. punk. You're lucky they're holding me back. These are... <laughs> you get out of here. He's leaving, he's leaving. It's okay, it's okay. What is all going right. on? See how we ran? Let's uh, let's get the CDs for today's show, alright? Alright. Okay. We're gonna be over here. So you've played all of these games, huh? Well, I don't want to say all of them. I've played most of them, you know? Finished a fair amount of them. Hey, Clarence, what's going on? How are you the doing? The hey. Man. All right, uh, now we found a couple of these. What we need now are uh, M Medieval 2 and MLB 2001. Got them right here. There you go. Thank you. You know, uh, my Tomb Raider finishing time has been attempted, but never defeated. Wow. <laughs> what's this about? Um, oh, these are the new airplane controllers. These are great. They're programmable with, uh, like, this auto-repeat function. You're not ready for that. So, uh, what are you doing Sunday? Sunday? Ooh, busy. Too bad, huh? <laughs> Ooh, still throwing those strikes with nobody at home to catch the ball, huh, big guy? Better luck next time, man. Can we go now? Yeah, let's get out of here. Thanks, man. We'll see you next week. Take care. She'll be back. Ron, the red light is on. And OK, uh, let's get to our first review. But before that, um, you folks at home are probably sitting there wondering what's going on. You might have caught something that's changed, right? What's changed? That's right, I've switched shirts. Um, there's a little something in the biz we like to call continuity. And we wanted to make sure that you didn't catch us on a continuity gaffe. So uh, yeah, here's the culprit. Kate essentially told me to uh, take this shirt off, even though it is my favorite shirt, uh, because there was a little problem. Would you like to maybe try it on for us and we can, yeah, thanks. Be a doll. Can I call you a doll? 
can call me whatever you Slide want. Slide that on there. Great. Good stuff. Okay, Oleg, if you could zoom in nice and close, I'll show you where the problem is. Uh, it's, it's right in this region, right in here. There was the yellows and the, the sorry, the reds and the oranges that were really buzzing. As we're not say. that Buzz kind of show. It's buzzing. So uh, thank you very much. That's great. Should I take it off now? Please, yeah. Great. All right. What are you, Mr. Serious over there all of a sudden? First review was a serious PlayStation title, Medieval 2, a game so nice, they had to make it twice. Yeah, it was the most underrated PlayStation game back in 98, and it's back with a killer sequel. I love sequels. All right, the first, the first Medieval game was wedged between the current Crash and Spyro games, so it got very little attention. But anybody who played this game would know that it was the most interesting game released in 1998. Sir Dan is back, and he's more dead than ever. He's not resting in peace, though, because he's got all these adversaries. But fortunately, he's armed with guns, swords, Ching! crossbows, and even his own body parts. At the beginning of the game, Sir Dan can rip his own arm off and start winging it at guys, and uh, that's it. how he fights the armies of undead creatures. Right, Cindy? Yeah, right. I love Medieval too. Wing it, wing it, wing it, wing it. The game is so much more action-packed mm -hmm. than any of the other games out there, more so than its predecessors. It got the, the game sequences, the puzzles, everything's really tricky. But uh, this game is really, really, I can't even take my eyes off it. It's really about hacking and slashing through bad dudes, you know? Like, oh, I see like a vampire. I think I'm gonna like hack him to pieces. There's, there's a, the occasional camera You're dead, man. Uh, sat back, Oleg. Buddy, thank you. It's not always on the same page as you in terms of where you always want to be looking. Like, sometimes it just starts drifting away, like what's going on right now. Oleg, over, back over to me. Concentrate. Thank you. But it never hinders your ability to battle through the levels because you can control it with the shoulder button. Hey, don't forget to tell them about the new boxing part. It's my favorite part. When you fight the Iron Slugger, essentially in between rounds, you got to find each of the individual body pieces and stitch them together before you can start the next round. It's great stuff. Also new in this version is the ability to transform into headless Dan. What you do is you kind of take Dan's head uh, off his body and then you jam it onto his wrist and then he kind of crawls around in this little mini mode. It's great stuff. It's good stuff. It's highly original. It's visually stunning. Mm -hmm. And it's thoroughly, thoroughly playable. Mm -hmm. Sleeper hit of the summer, hands down. I'm with you. I'm with you. It's a hell of a game. Ow. Ow. Go to a commercial break from PlayStation. Ow. 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 The legendary sedan is back. The undead can run, but they can't hide. Beta T for teams. You have uh, a sister, right? Yes, she's in the band. Yeah, my sister went to school with her. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. You know, I don't think, that, I think we really uh, yeah. we know too much about you. We should probably, like, talk at some point, don't you think? And we're on. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry about that. All right, um, since we don't know a lot about our new girl, Cindy, we're going to have this segment called Getting to Know Cindy Better. Sounds good to me. What a great name. How original. Getting to Know Cindy Better. Okay, so Cindy, tell us, what did you do before Game Addicts? Well, since I do makeup now, I was actually a manicurist. Tell us a priest. Mm -hmm. You know, you can tell a lot about a person by you their hands. You certainly can. Let's see, yeah, those hands. Okay. Yeah, those are gross. What hey, everybody, it's Basil! So, Basil, oh, just in case you don't remember, Basil's our eccentric pizza delivery friend. Uh, what happened to the pizza delivery job, by the way? Let's just say I got cheesed off, Todd. <laughs> Besides, everyone knows fish and chips is where it's at. You don't know what heaven is until you've tasted our tartar sauce. Okay, people, this is all very fascinating, but we're in the middle of a... Uh, show? Well then, perhaps we could talk a little later. Say over dinner and a vintage Cabernet. I'm quite the connoisseur, you know. Mm, maybe. Okay, people, we have a date. I mean, we have a show to do here. Come on, let's get going. Oh, who is that? Okay, our next review is Spider-Man by Activision. You know uh, what? When I was in grade six, all my mom got me was under ruse for Christmas. The Incredible Hulk. But they chafed, and I got a bad rash. I mean, Captain Highliner, don't you have some fish to deliver? 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll pick you up at A. <laughs> okay, back to the review. Everybody's favorite web slinger has never really been given the video game respect that he deserves. Until now. Now, if you got Spidey sense like I do, then you've seen this game coming from miles away and you've been waiting for it. Stan Lee is like, he's a god. Think about all that guy's done. Any Spidey power that you've ever seen is in this game. You can even shoot web blasts used to capture the nemesis. When he's uh, not shooting web balls at bad guys, he's fighting him in this kind of like final fight in the streets of rage type of thing with combos that are easy to execute and most rewarding to watch. Yeah, but it's not all about punching and kicking and web sling because we have the variety to save people and most importantly, save your own butt. Some of the levels are shot on this kind of overhead view where your objective is to keep Peter Parker in one piece so that his SOB boss, J. Jonah Jameson, can keep screaming at him. Hello? He's screaming at him. I, Parker! Parker! Jeez, he's so mean. To sum it all up, I think we're going to see a whole lot more of Spider-Man in the next couple of years. A game of this quality has got to spawn feature sequels, right? Awesome environments, visually stunning. Now that we got Spider-Man, let's just work hard on a good Batman or Superman game. Hello? Series uh -huh. out there. Uh, Anyone? Superman. Hello? And, uh, Hello? And now to Cindy on the final thought on Spider-Man yeah. from Activision. Well, what up do you think? until this point that I became a featured performer on Game Addicts, mm -hmm. I had never really played a video game. Really? Yeah, not Well, anymore. it's okay because we've been granted permission to train you. You will become a vidi. I promise. Does that training include joystick? <laughs> yeah, don't worry, it's covered. It's covered in the contract. You don't gotta worry, it's covered in the contract. In All the that contract. aside, I love the game Spider-Man. It's really, really cool. Well, that's good. That was a very good little mini review from Cindy. Yeah? Thank you very much. Good stuff. Good? Yeah, you did great. <laughs> oh. oh, hey, speaking of great. Ooh, wow, Emily, you look really nice. Thank you, Marty. All right, here's the only segment we're contractually obligated to. Um, a little something we like to call Emily's Observations. Emily's Observations. So, Emily, let's get it started. You got 30 seconds. Y'all ready? Which camera do I look into? Just that one, I guess. I don't know. You ready? And go. First of all, I would like to say, what is with all the violence in these video games? I mean, what happened to the nice games like Smurf? where nobody was killed. Instead, you had all the nice Smurfs, like Jokey and Papa and Smurfette. Oh, loved her outfits. 10 seconds tops. And a message about my ex-best friend, Jennifer C. I can't say her name on TV. She stuffs her bra. Let's just say the only A she ever got is on her chest. 29 and 30. Time's up. Y'all done? Yeah. Oh, Stay okay. tuned next week for Ooh. more of Emily's exciting oh, rants and personal oh, vendettas. We need a cold shower over here. Yeah. Now, let's, uh, let's cut to a quick commercial from our good friends at Activision. Everyone's favorite web slinger is back in action in Spider-Man by Activision. With brilliant level design, unbelievable graphics, and spot-on control, you assume the role of Peter Parker in this action-adventure classic. Hey, I'm the hero, remember? The perfect combination of stealth and action makes Spider-Man by Activision a must-have. When you walk into a microplay, there's walls and walls of video games. Microplay is your destination to buy, sell, rent, or trade video games for your console or PC. You know, we feature all the new games. You can rent them, buy them, trade in old ones. It's great. They got everyone beat in terms of price, in terms of staff that knows a lot. I mean, you know, they might not know as much as me, but hey, I have my own TV show, right? But they know a lot. Like, they're very knowledgeable. Visit us at microplay.com for a full list of store locations, or you can shop online for all your gaming needs. Now we're going to open up the phone lines in a segment that we're going to call Open Up the Phone Lines. The number is 555-1212. Give us a call and let us know what you think. Not our first call. Game Addicts, what's your comment? Game Addicts? Is that you, Toddy? <laughs> yeah. Hi, Grandma. How's my little pussy cat? <laughs> Listen, Grandma, uh, can, you, can you call me back? I'm kind of in the middle of something right here. Only if you tell me you love me. Toddy? <laughs> How are you? I can't hear you. <laughs> I love you. OK. Yeah, see you this weekend. All right, thanks. That was pretty. You, you want to get this time? You gotta tell me that you love me. <laughs> Just get the phone. Yeah! Game addicts. Hey, dude. I think you should 
check out a webcast coming out of some Eastern European country. Uh, I think it's Bulgaria. Um, at www.bronzeye.com. Bronzeye.com. It looks like somebody's trying to steal your sunshine. All right, we're going to check it out. Thank you. What's that about? All right. Okay, let's check this out here. Uh, it up. Oh, sorry. Max in your yeah, way? Get him out of the hey, way. Hey, Maxie boy. People want to see my nose. Nobody wants to see that. Okay, we're up. What was the site again? Bronzeye.com. Okay. All right. Hello everybody, welcome to our show, Addicted to the Game, the show in which we review video game titles. <laughs> now, let's get ready to rumble! Who are these clowns? This is this a joke? Today we're going to review some pretty cool games. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Let's get it on! I'm turning this off. Real this is an insult to real video oh. game shows everywhere. So I'm not even worried about this. Oh man, we must be getting really popular if former communist countries are biting our style. Exactly, I mean I'm not too worried about it, it's fine. Who's worried? Nah, I'm not worried Not at me. All. I don't worry. Let's go to the next review. All right. We got a great one. It's Breakout by Hasbro. Fantastic. Our buddies at Hasbro have been uh, taking notes because they are taking the classic Pong formula and they're adding a whole new twist. Breakout for the PSX is like Pong, but it adds a little storyline, some cool bosses, and all kinds of wacky characters. I mean, some really bizarre stuff is in this game. Knights, dragon sheep, in a Pong game? Needless to say, this isn't just any old rehash of an old style Pong game. There's 3D puzzles, collapsing ceilings. It's truly the next generation of paddle games. Oh yeah, it's also the perfect game to play with your chick. I mean, if you have one. Or girlfriend, sorry. Whatever, because there's no dead zombies, there's no scantily clad women. Oh, do I hear a plug? And it'll hook you for hours because you're always trying to finish it. It's that kind of addiction thing, you know? Mm-hmm, and with the addition of the story, this game is a complete blockbuster. Get Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Blockbuster. Right. Blockbuster. Uh, it takes the classic formula and it gives it a year 2000 facelift that will have you forgetting about the rest of your game library. What game library? Exactly. Okay. Let's go to a commercial from our good friends at Hasbro. Actually, let's play a little break yet. Ever wonder what Pong would look like in 3D? Hasbro Interactive is revitalizing the classic formula with Breakout. No more flat gameplay areas. This game features block-busting action in cool multi-layered arenas. So look for Breakout this fall. Microplay is your destination to buy, sell, rent, or trade video games for your console or PC. I got into Microplay because I really enjoy video games ever since I was a little kid. In the past, Microplay was just video games. Uh, now we're doing something different. For example, we're doing movies, computer stuff, PC stuff. When you walk into a microplay, there's walls and walls of video games. You can get just about anything you want, any system. You know, we feature all the new games. You can rent them, buy them, trade in old ones. It's great. The staff is very helpful. They, they know so much. I don't even know how they know all the stuff. When you think of microplay, you think of video games and entertainment center. They got everyone beat in terms of price, in terms of uh, staff that knows a lot. I mean, you know, they might not know as much as me, but hey, I have my own TV show, right? But they know a lot. Like, they're very knowledgeable. There's games, right? And... Games. It's all about the game. With all the exciting new platforms that are coming out, PlayStation 2 and, and PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 2, uh, it's really, there's a bright future with, uh, with microplay. It's becoming more of a broad-based uh, products we have currently carry. I think everyone's going to want to go to microplay for, their, for their, all their gaming needs. It's a place to get all the entertainment that you need. It will revolutionize entertainment. Visit us at microplay.com for a full list of store locations, or you can shop online for all your gaming needs. When we come into microplay, it's, it's just, it's like where we belong. You know? Okay. All right, up next is our sports review. Let's pass it over to our resident sports hero who promises not to ramble on as much as he did last time. He doesn't ramble. Tends to carry it on a little far. Here he is, the one, the only, the guy who never keeps the women lonely, RBI. Who no. else? Who else? Who's the man? Where's he at? He is so unreliable. Where is he? <laughs> it was out of control. He's fine. He's really fast. Oh, 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 oh. There he is. Okay. Hey, right. down low. And now, all right. Sports Watch with Roberto Brown. Sorry about that, guys. You know, Roberto Brown is a slave to a good old street hockey game. 
<coughs> when it comes to sports, RBI doesn't suck. When it comes to candies, RBI is a real sucker for Hershey's Taste Tations Chocolate Heart Candies. What, you're not going to have one? Just looking at it makes me feel so much better. Well, baseball season is back on PlayStation with Major League Baseball 2001. This game is rolling in the dope stuff. It actually makes you feel like you could smell the grass and feel the dirt underneath your cleats. MLB 2001 is definitely my favorite baseball game, you know what I'm saying? Well, the game is finally done and now you can sit down and get into the most complete baseball game ever. You know what game day and face off look like on the PlayStation? Well, imagine a baseball world as realistic as the environments in those games. You got players with polygons on top of polygons that are perfectly animated. I hate most modern day baseball games because hitting the ball is as much luck as it is skill. This game makes batting a challenge and not an exercise in frustration. As usual, timing is everything, but making contact with the ball isn't as simple as guessing where the pitch will be. It takes some real major skill to put it out of the park. And you know, Roberto is always up to the challenge. This game is complete. Sound, graphics, A1, extras, stats. Basically, this game is like the 86 Mets of video baseball games. Once you touch this one, you'll never go back to other video games again. Folks, this game gets the much coveted Roberto Brown seal of approval. So until next time, this is Roberto Brown reminding you, it's not how you play the game, it's whether you win or you lose. RBI has got to fly. Well, stick around for the closing sequence. All right, cool. We're cool. wrapping up the show. All right, episode two is in the bags. Yeah, that's it. We did another one. And another great show. We got, a, we got like a third host, and we're, we're doing We're rocking. As a matter of fact, I think we should end with a song. Sorry. Every great show has a song. No, We're going to no. end with a song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do a song. Let's do a song. Then we're going to oh, swing. We're going to swing. Uh, game addicts. Game addicts. Everyone. Let's just get everyone out of the way. Game addicts. Game addicts. I don't know the lyrics. Game addicts. Game addicts. Swinging this as I go along. Everyone get out of my attic. Get out of my attic. Batting lets you lock onto a pitch and put it where it's needed most. Only in MLB 2001. Rated E for everyone. PlayStation. Next week on Game Addicts, Kate and Basil have a date to remember, and Emily's looking for love. If any of you geeks out there want to go out with me, now is your big opportunity. Darkness descends when the Bulgarians steal the spotlight. We must commence the show now. Hey, everybody, there's you! Marky! to be bringing you some pierogies and pork. Be sure to tune in to see what lies down the road for Todd and Marty on the next episode of Game Addicts. Now, a word from our government. This program has been a paid presentation for Microplay and has been brought to you by Microplay and Microplay.com.